Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we will be talking about a very common question that all the candidates who are currently in the process of TCS hiring are having that has the TCS NQT interview results for 2025 been officially declared or not. Many students are confused between receiving a document verification email and the actual interview result. We will be clearing all these doubts with real example and official information in this video. So make sure that you watch the video till complete end. So guys, before we start the video, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of hiring updates as well as off-campus drives opportunities on my channel on daily basis. So guys, before we start the video, let's understand what we are going to cover in today's video, the topics, and then we will be touching every single topic in detail. First of all, we are going to see. TCS NQT interview results 2025 is it declared or not? We are going to have a complete view on that. Then we are going to understand the difference between document email and official results. Okay. Then we are going to see what is in the document verification email that which the candidates have received, and then we are going to look at real candidate experiences and proofs, and then final insights on what to expect next going forward. So, guys, first of all, talking about TCS NQT interview results 2025. so no official results has been declared yet for most of the candidates many are confusing document verification email itself with the actual result email so you have to understand that that is just a document verification email and this does not guarantees your results okay we only share verified updates so no fake news or assumptions so don't get confused okay like because you know what happens is candidates hear it from one or the other and then they get tensed that you know for us it is not at least so officially there is no release uh, of the results from the company itself just because you received the email that does not means that you have uh, cleared it or your results is declared okay let's understand about uh, the difference between official mail and official result document uh, verification email okay see first of all document verification mail when it is sent it is sent before your results request documents uh, where the company what does it what they does is they request the documents for eligibility and your background check it also mentions deadline for submission okay the mail will be having a deadline for submission like 14 july 3 pm or 13 july 9 pm whatever is your deadline it will be mentioned in that and there will no where be it is be mentioned that uh, you are confirmed your selection is confirmed you have shortlisted nothing okay so you just have to consider that this is just a individual document collection email nothing more or less than that okay not talking about official result email how does that look like so when you will receive your official result email in that you will have the exact role mentioned okay like your ninja digital or prime which role you have got it will clearly say that you have been shortlisted these words will be there in those email okay and this email will usually comes after your document verification so right now the document verification is happening so it is very much expected that after some time or in some time you can expect that emails also and this type of data can also be shared via college tpo because first they get the updates and then later on they also share it to student so this is how the usual process is going to look like now let's talk about what is there in the document verification email first of all there will be instructions to sell all the documents as one pdf under 5 mb like the uh, length of the document should be that much and then what required documents that it will include first of all it will include the documents like aadhar card pan card tcs application form then your 10th 12th diploma degree mark sheets and certificates diploma if you have done then only then your passport size photograph then your provisional certificate bona fide letter work experience proofs if it is applicable in your case if not then it is fine then final selection will depend on your document clearance and also it is mentioned that this is not a final background check multiple stages will follow i was also getting a lot of comments and on the previous videos and also a lot of dms on the instagram so i thought let me make it clear very clear with this video that document verification email is not a final background check there can be multiple final uh, multiple background checks further also and this email does not even guarantees your selection also guys okay let's now understand the real candidate experience and proofs so guys some of the received documents uh verification mail but it is not yet uh, results are not yet declared case one is of a candidate who received a document mail on 13th of july then an offer letter on 14th of july and uh, very few have received the actual interview results in 2024 document email came on 29th of june and official result came on 10th of july mentioning that the candidate has been shortlisted for a digital role okay so with the previous data also you can understand 
Now, what you can expect in your case, if you have received the document email, it is a positive sign. It is well and good because see, company showing interest on you, which means that your profile is somewhere getting highlighted. You are currently in the process. Okay, but that does not means that it will guarantee only. Okay, that you will it will like you will definitely get the job. Okay, that is what the thing is. You have to keep yourself calm. So, not the final. This is not the final result. Final result will come via direct TCS mail from TCS. Okay, or otherwise from TPO list which will be shared by your college. Some cybersecurity candidates from Andhra Pradesh, which they appeared for from on campus, have received the results also. This is the update. And then off campus candidates have not results any. Like any of them has not results uh, received any results yet, okay? And be patient, wait for the genuine and official communication from the com uh, company, and then I will also be sharing an up upcoming video on offer letter updates from the company. So, guys, I've tried to cover almost everything in this video. If you have any more doubts, let me know in the comment section. Join me on my Telegram channel, follow me on my Instagram. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you get the latest notification whenever I upload a new video. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time.